Where are we holding up? Somewhere I'll never suspect. <laughs> Still think it was a good idea bringing him along. Hello, DC fans. Thank you so much for giving us a watch. Please give us a like and a subscribe. Share this. Hit that bell for notifications so you can stay up to date with all the latest videos that we have going on. Trying to give you all the inside scoops there and all the information that we have on all these fun films it's fun to talk about them so let's talk give me a comment i love to reply to all the comments that i can a comprehensive plot leak has leaked online and i just want to talk about it if you don't want to be spoiled for the flash please do not continue watching this video turn on in a couple years when you see the flash come back and watch it and we'll see what was accurate and what was not accurate some of this lines up with what i did in a previous video and some of this is, is all true uh, so let's get right through it. It's very exciting. It looks like Henry Cavill's Superman does actually get killed by Zod as a baby. But more on that in just a little bit because it is not all doom and gloom. Uh, and this is what they're saying that there is a tease for Reverse Flash. Uh, when Barry's mom is killed, a yellow figure smiles at Barry and lunges at him. Barry escapes before the yellow figure can get to him. Uh, no actor or voice, it's pretty hard to make the figure out because he's just standing in the dark and you can only see yellow as armor. So that's cool that they're just hinting at that for future Flash movies. They say that Ezra Miller, I mean, take this as you will. I don't know what's going to happen with Ezra Miller, but apparently he's fantastic in this film. You're going to love him more than you did in the two Justice League movies that we got and also Batman v Superman, of course. Black Flash is not the villain of the film. Future Flash is the villain. Uh, they merged into two characters. It's essentially Future Flash just wearing Black Flash's suit. And there are three berries in the film. And the berry we see in the trailer's long hair gets brutally killed by evil Barry. This also goes on apparently that Zod actually also brutally murders Supergirl and Michael Keaton's Batman. Not sure how that plays a factor in this as we'll get reports later on that those two characters exist beyond this movie of course future flash is just a second barry but from the future his motivation is that when dceu barry came to the universe he ruined everything and destroyed his world he had gotten obsessed into saving his world and keeps trying to reverse time from getting it destroyed but fails so he decided to go to the person who caused this and the person that caused it of course is barry and actually that flash spent 10 years to try to figure out a way to stop Zod from destroying his world. Um, so that goes in. That's kind of cool that they're tying it into Man of Steel, though. I mean, regardless of what they're going to do, you got to admit that they're tying it into to what Zack Snyder brought us to. So it actually what happens is Barry Allen is trying to go back in time, and it turns out future Flash uh, hits him, and instead of and knocks him out of his speed force, and instead of going back in time, he goes to an alternate universe, which, of course, is Keaton's universe. And Sasha Kaye is Supergirl, uh, apparently she's fantastic. She's one of the best parts in the movie. Some of it, according to this, some people are calling it the best performance in the movie. So, I mean, she might be very good. And the Flash gets Michael Keaton's Batman and Supergirl to join him to try to defeat Zod or somebody. They're not quite sure who. Uh, that fails. Then you find out what the true intention was that that uh, Future Flash lured them in there so that he could kill Barry because Future Flash has failed at going back in time several times. Ezra Miller again is fantastic in this and he has a nice little freak out like a fanboy freak out when he sees the Batmobile. Later on in the film it's reported that Zod is going to kill Cavill's uh, baby of course but before that he's going to kill Keaton and Supergirl as I said and it's brutal apparently very brutal uh, and he's going to break their necks and it's worse than when Superman snapped Zod. So again, a nice mirror reflection of that. I kind of I kind of dig where they're going with this. Uh, Henry Cavill is Superman in the universe, but of course he doesn't exist because his his uh Kal-El Superman was killed as a baby. Now this one I really take with a grain of salt, but they flash through all these universes and of course um when they do have this massive race with Future Flash and Flash through all these universes, uh they flash past Pattinson. Uh, Linda Carter, Wonder Woman, Adam West, Batman, Grant Gustin, Flash, and I guess there's more than that, which is kind of exciting. Superman's existence is left somewhat ambiguous. I'm going to get to that towards the end of this. Zod and, Zeor and, Zod and Feora survive this, which, like I said previously, this is kind of exciting. It leaves them for future films. Apparently, Iris West is just a cameo in this. Uh, she appears at the end when Barry's father leaves from prison. There's an update on this, and they're saying that Pattinson will be involved in their crisis film, which I said I reported earlier. They're leading to this crisis event film, and apparently he's going to join the DCU, which again, I reported 
uh, several videos before that that is what they were planning on having him in. So he'll stick with the Reeves verse. The Reeves verse is going to be the Reeves verse when Pattinson will be allowed to escape that on his own and Reeves won't have anything to do with that. He'll kind of stick with his own stories, which is cool. I'm, I'm all in on. It looks like we might be getting a, a gender bent mirror master or killer frost. I'm let's go with killer frost. I just I love that, uh, but they're not sure of that. So no concrete evidence there. Don't expect any wild cameos. I don't know how you can not expect wild cameos when they just say a second earlier that you're going to get Pattinson, Carter, Adam West, and Grant Gustin. Like, those are pretty wild. Apparently this film has an overall feel of, like, Wizard of Oz type stuff. Ben Affleck, again, does not die, but he's not part of this new timeline. That's Michael Keaton is not part of this timeline. And again, the, the end credit scene, the post credit scene, there's two, there's a mid credit scene and a post credit scene. And the post credit scene is Ben Affleck saying, come find us, Barry, which is very exciting. And the mid credit scene is actually Flash and Aquaman. And the Flash wonders if Superman exists in this world as well and then it proceeds to show supergirl smiling at barry and he smiles back and it shows him looking over what's next to her his face is full of shock and the movie ends they say this may allude to henry cavill's superman but they are not quite sure and then the post credit is come find us barry which i reported on earlier this is all super exciting it looks like they're not removing the snyderverse at all they're kind of moving away from it but having it also exist and they're playing they're creating this new universe now that kind of encapsulates all of what they've had, and that's kind of exciting in a way. It means the Snyderverse, come find us, Barry. It's like, well, the audiences want you to find him? Yes, we do, so we can go there. We can actually, we can dive into that universe once again, the Snyderverse once again, when it is time, when Zack Snyder is done with his Planet of the Dead, with his Rebel Moon, with his Twilight of the Gods, we can go back to that. But for now, we can stay, and we can follow Barry on this new timeline that he's in. Uh, and going on. I'm curious to see what happens with Supergirl and Michael Keaton's Batman dies, but Batgirl has Michael Keaton's Batman. So maybe that's why Batgirl can come out first. I don't know. We're going to find out though. Time is ticking. This movie will come out in the next 17 years, but it makes sense. They do reference how Shazam is in this and Shazam 2 actually takes place before this film. So that would make sense why this movie is released before that. Aquaman 2, not too sure how that's going to play out. But we'll find out. Time's going to tell. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you like where this is going? Are you not so happy with it? Are you glad this leaked? Does it give you any self of, any sense of relief? Let me know. Like I said, I love reading your comments and I try to respond to all the ones that I can. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.